Hey guys, I'm CMA Supra, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 1 multiplayer video. In this video, I'm going to be playing as my favorite faction, which is the Wehrmacht, on my favorite map, which is Longra. Uh, this is going to be a very long and destruction-filled game, as you can see by the length of this video, so if you haven't already done so, I recommend pausing the video, grabbing some snacks of whatever you like, and then coming back and watching this video. Maybe you can grab some pickles, or some nuts, or some jalapenos, or some candy of some sort. Whatever kind of snack you feel like having, you should go grab it, and then come back and watch this game. Alright, so now you're either back with your snacks, or you're just ignoring my advice and watching the video without snacks, so uh, either way, you are now ready to watch this video, and watch some awesome destruction happen on Longra. So, uh, like I said, I am playing as the Wehrmacht, my opponent is playing as the Americans, which I have not said yet, and we are playing on Longra. Um, my build order at the beginning of this game was to have two Pioneer squads, just like I usually do, and they both build the Wehrmacht quarters, just like I usually do, and the first unit out of the Wehrmacht quarters is a Volksgrenadier squad, just like I usually do. Uh, the only thing I'm actually doing kind of different this game from my normal build order is I am separating my pioneers on different sides of the map, as you will see here pretty soon. And I actually ha had them both capture a munitions point, uh, and that's because I want to focus on munitions at the beginning of this game. Only slightly, though. If there's a fuel point that's convenient for me to capture, I will capture it on the way as I'm capturing the munitions points. But I'm mainly focusing on the munitions points at the beginning of this game, because the Wehrmacht rely on munitions quite heavily, and my goal at the beginning of this game is just to spam a bunch of MP40 Volksgrenadiers because they are so good against rifles if the rifles don't yet have BARs. My second unit out of the uh, Wehrmacht quarters was a bike, by the way. I'm doing kind of the Volks bike MG sniper build, although I'm not really going to be following it very strictly. I just felt like getting a, a bike as my second unit to hopefully help out in whatever the first encounter is, which you can see is right here, and I'm rushing to the house and I lose. That's really not good for my Volksgrenadier squad. Uh, but I've also sent my bike elsewhere, because it's not going to be useful against a unit and a house, so I've sent it elsewhere to try and find any engineer squads, and here is an engineer squad. Now, pioneers are fighting the engineer squad, but pioneers will not win against engineers one-on-one -on -one most of the time. So I have brought up my bike over here to the right, at least it's on its way. Here it is now. And I've backed up my pioneer squad so that they can uh, get cover from the bike. There's also a fight going on in the middle of the map where a Volksgrenadier squad moved to after the rifle squad went into the building. But uh, I forced those rifles back and they probably went into that green cover next to the hay bales. I do have an MG42 out in the field now. Oh, before I talk about that though, there's a really bad engagement going on here. My pioneers were severely damaged by the rifle squad earlier, the first rifle squad I found, and so they didn't stand a chance against those engineers. Luckily I did get the VP though. So now my second unit out of, or my third unit rather, out of the Wehrmacht quarters is an MG. So, so far I've stuck with the Volks Bike MG build order, but I'm not getting a sniper next. Instead, I am getting another Volks Renendir squad. It's actually a really good build order. I probably should have stuck with it at the beginning of this uh, game, but I didn't because I completely forgot that's what I was doing as I was playing the game. I was just so flustered by the fact that there was so much combat going on even at the beginning of this game. I'm just not used to that. So, um, as you can see, I have suppressed one rifle squad, and now I have a second rifle squad flanking my MG42, and it's behind green cover. I decided to use my bike to try and push them out of green cover, and I do succeed, but uh, not very well. And my bike's taking a ton of damage, this could be really bad. My Volk squad is taking on a rifle squad on the left, but it looks like they're winning, even though they're at point blank. My bike is very close to dying. My MG42 has suppressed that rifle squad. I'm retreating my bike, and it doesn't survive. That is really bad for me, but at least I have done a lot of manpower damage to my opponent by the, just killing individual men in his uh, rifle squads. Ooh, that was a lot of action that went on, and there's still a bit of action going on, although finally the last rifle squad retreated because there was way too much firepower for them to stand much of a chance of surviving. Uh, you may have noticed that I planted a mine next to the rightmost field point that's close to my opponent's base. Uh, I planted quite a few mines this game, which is always a good thing to do. Mines are invisible to your enemy, and most people don't buy minesweepers unless they know that you have mines. And my opponent does not yet know that I'm using mines, so uh, 
This Minesweeper won't exist, and my mines will be useful, hopefully. And here we might even get to see the mine get used. Oh boy, okay. Let's lure him towards the fuel point. Let's see if he suspects anything with the fact that I'm not retreating my Pioneer Squad, but rather backed them up. Hopefully he doesn't suspect uh, any mines over there just because I backed up my Pioneer Squad. He's giving chase, and that was an awesome mine. So now I sent my Pioneer Squad in to do a lot of damage to those two squads, the Engineer Squad and the Rifle Squad. And uh, it looks like I have either killed the Engineer Squad. I, I do see an Engineer Squad or an Engineer body there, but it might have died from the mine or it might have died to my Pioneer Squad. I don't know which one. Um, but it either died or it retreated. One of the two. While that was happening, uh, there was a lot of action going on in the middle as well, with uh, rifles versing Volks and an MG. The MG had to retreat because it was so low on men, and there was one rifle squad that was not suppressed that my opponent had, and I had to deal with that. This is kind of a bad battle for me to be in over there in the middle. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Look at those health bars. Oh, yes, I won, and I retreated because they're so low on health. I just instinctively retreated, even though retreating really does no good for them because I can't reinforce them. So that was a pointless retreat, but I retreated them because I was, it was just instinct at this point. been playing this game for so long. One of these days I'll learn not to retreat when I can't actually do, get any benefit from it. I really should have just captured that VP. Um, but I did retreat. So now there's still a fight going on in the middle. I think I was t saying something about it, but I don't know what I was saying, so whatever. I'm sure it wasn't important. It was not important, I'm sure. There we go. Talk clearly, Supra. So, um... Oh, what's that thing called? Campcraft Center, that's what it's called. Right, I totally did not just read it on the bottom taskbar. Uh, so I've now built the Campcraft Center. I always forget the name of that building for whatever reason, but I have now built it, and I want to get veterancy on my MGs and my infantry. Uh, those two units, or those two veterancy classes, are infantry and support veterancy, so I'm building one of the two right now. I don't know which one, but I'm getting veterancy, which will greatly help me in the beginning of the game here, rather than teching up. And that's, like I said, I'm focusing more on munitions than on fuel. If I have enough fuel to get veterancy, then hooray, that is good for me. But uh, it is not the focus uh, for me to be teching or getting fuel. It, my focus is really just to be getting munitions and then getting MP40 Volks, although I do have 136 munitions, and I have a grand total of zero Volk squads with MP40s. You might be thinking I'm crazy. I probably am. Now you can see I'm charging forward at this house with a rifle squad, with a flamethrower pioneer squad, and two Volk squads. I'm hoping the flamethrowers will flush them out, and then the Volks will kill them as they're outside the house, but my opponent is smarter than that, and... He retreats on the other side of the house like a smart guy and doesn't come out the door that I was right next to. He also retreated his other rifle squad on the right side that was capturing the fuel point next to my base. So rude of him to uh, be capturing that point, but at least he was nice enough to retreat the squad. Although really it only benefited him because I would have cost him a lot of manpower if he didn't retreat. <laughs> okay, so this is looking good. So, oh dear, retreat! That's a very low health squad, uh, but it's looking good so far. I do have about half of the map so far, uh, mostly the middle of the map, more so than the sides, but I do have about half the map, and uh, I'm pushing forward onto my opponent's cutoff point over here in, in front of his base. I do have an MG covering the area right now, and I'm about to send a Volks Renadier squad over to capture the point. My opponent had a rifle squad there, as you saw, and it's now retreating, and apparently my opponent used a mine on the uh, point. So good to know, my opponent is using mines. That is definitely good to know. I should probably buy a minesweeper sometime soon. Will I? I believe the answer is no. Although I did play this yesterday, and I don't quite remember every little detail of it. I don't think I actually bought a minesweeper for quite a while this game. Flamethrower Engineers versus a Volk Squad on the right side, and two Rifle Squads getting owned right outside their base in the middle of the map. So I now have the opponent's cutoff point, he's not getting fuel from the right side of the map. It looks like my Volk Engineers won the battle on the right side, although the Engineers simply backed up, they didn't actually uh, retreat. So I had my uh, Volk Engineers attack move on them, so that they stayed at long range. 
Now we have our first vehicle on the field. It is a Stoghound, I believe. Maybe that's a British one. I don't know. It's a T-17 or it's a Stoghound or something. I don't. I honestly do not know the Tales of Valor unit names. I just know what they're like, and that's really what you need to know. So we have an armored car of some sort on the field by the American player, and it is actually a pretty good armored car. Ooh, we have our first MP40 Volks as well. Oh, I was hoping to get the surprise on my opponent like, ha! You thought you were winning this fight? No longer, now that I'm at close range with MP40s. But sadly, my opponent noticed. Uh, he was he was good at multitasking this game. He paid attention to every single fight that was going on. He didn't look at any one fight for too long. Um, so I wasn't able to get him in that particular engagement for that reason. Bye-bye, Engineer Squad. You get to retreat back to base, and then you can go to bed and sleep, or your commander will send you out to fight again. Which hopefully won't be the case. Oh, can I actually kill off the squad? This could be great! Oh, it didn't happen. Darn. So at this point, the uh, map control that my opponent has consists of the left side of the map, and I have the right side of the map, including my opponent's cutoff point. Um, so I'm, I'm planning to cut off my opponent from the left side of the map as well by taking the strategic point on the left side, and then he will be cut off from the fuel and munitions on the right, which would be great. This squad needs to retreat. There we go. Hopefully they survive. I think they will survive, looking at the mini-map. One thing I really, really like about Company of Heroes over Company of Heroes 2 is how much retreating actually helps your squads. There were multiple retreats I made this game where I would not have survived in Company of Heroes 2, but I do survive in Company of Heroes 1. That's a, like the one major thing I don't like about Company of Heroes 2 compared to this game, but that's just a random point. I don't know why I'm making it quite honestly, but I did. So we can see that my opponent's armored car, whatever it may be called, is actually not doing that much damage to my infantry. I fully expected it to do quite a bit more damage. I accidentally set up my MG in the middle of an open field there, as you might have noticed. That was a that was a horrible mistake. This Volksternator squad ran over a mine, and I had to retreat another Volksternator squad that was fighting a rifle squad. I retreat my MG as well, because it's just getting owned by the rifle squad that's sitting in the building, so I can't really do anything against it with my MG. I'd probably lose my MG if I did not retreat, so I end up retreating it. This Volk squad is just going to get owned by this rifle squad, because they uh, ran over a mine earlier, like I said. So I do have more map control than my opponent. My opponent is cut off from really any resources on the map. He has two munitions points uh, for a total of plus 15 munitions, I believe. One's a plus five, one's a plus 10. Uh, and then a plus five fuel point that's next to his base. That is all he has for resource income right now. I have many more resources coming in, but sadly my opponent is winning the manpower war. Manpower is the rarest resource in the game and is very important. Oh, look at that rifle squad. They actually ran over a mine. How sad for them. I used an MG42 facing slightly towards my base. It's always so weird to do that. Make them face backwards and not towards the enemy base. But uh, I had one facing towards my base. Make that rifle squad retreat. There is an armored car, that same armored car, shooting at my MG squad. And I'm going to Panzerfaust it again. I've already Panzerfausted it a few times. It actually hits one of my opponent's mines on the munitions point, which was just awesome. Oh, can these MP40s kill off this rifle squad? Oh, that's a really low health squad. They might just be able to, but they don't. Darn. And then there's another rifle squad coming in to support them. I go into the building here because I don't want to risk my opponent getting the building. MP40s in all uh, full auto guns, except for BARs, really suck against units and buildings. So uh, it'd be good to keep it for myself. Uh-oh, flamethrower. Um, okay, get out of the building, get really close to the flamethrowers, and own them, except they're not actually doing what I want them to do, because the flamethrower got a critical on them, so I had to retreat that squad. Still have about half ma map control, but I am losing the manpower war, like I have said. I do have that one on both my infantry and my support units. Uh, he's taking that fuel point, and it looks like my opponent also got BARs on his rifles, so uh, his rifles, while they were already winning against my infantry, will now do even better against my infantry. Hooray for that. That's not going to be any fun. 
I did just retreat two Volk squads that were almost at full health, but I wanted to fully increase the number of men that they had, so I figured it would be worth retreating them to re reinforce one guy on each squad, because they were both at four men at the time. I do have quite a few units sitting here in the middle of the map. I should probably do something with them, shouldn't I? And I finally decide to do something with them. Two Volk squads, a Panzer Shrek, uh, Grenadier squad, and an MG42 are in the middle. I have built my first pack in the game, and uh, you might have guessed it, the pack is to counter my opponent's armored car that I still don't know the name of. I'm sure one of you has posted it in the comments by now. But yes, that was the goal of it. Oh, this is a nice grenade. I don't know how I actually killed those two riflemen, but I somehow did, even though uh, my opponent's rifle squad had been out of that building by then. I don't know, but uh, anyways, like I was saying, first pack of the game is out. It's to counter my opponent's armored car. Same with the Panzer Shrek. I do have plenty of munitions to keep using uh, Panzer Faust, but it's not very effective at actually uh, keeping my munition income high because I just get the munitions and then I spend them on a Panzer Faust. The T-17 runs away or whatever that thing is called, and uh, I've just wasted munitions on pretty much nothing, which is great. Oh, this could be a great grenade. Do it. Oh yeah, that's a great grenade. That did a lot of damage. The armored car is down thanks to the uh, Panzer Faust, the Panzer Shrek, and the pack that I just got. Another mine was placed on the rightmost field point. My opponent was so annoying with mines, and I still haven't bought a minesweeper. I should tell you guys, the reason I have not bought a Minesweeper right now is because both of my Pioneer squads have flamethrowers, I believe, at this point. Um, yeah, they do have flamethrowers, and so I don't want to build another Pioneer squad to get a uh, a Minesweeper because I don't really see much of a use to a third Pioneer squad, although it would really help out my manpower because of all the mines that my opponent has. I just don't really feel like building a third Pioneer squad. That is the only reason that I don't yet have a Minesweeper, even though I could really use one. Alright, I just want to fight on the right side, I just want to fight on the left side as well, where I killed the armored car, and uh, in the middle there was no fighting going on, it was just mine to capture, which is great. I am being indecisive about a Doctrine, and then I pick the Blitzkrieg Doctrine for the uh, Stormtroopers, the Stew, and finally the Tiger, all on the left side of the Doctrine. Did I just lose a squad? No, I can see them retreating on the minimap, good. I thought I lost a squad to all of my opponent's units on the left side. So that was kind of a surprise to me, seeing all those units on the left side. And then my opponent, my opponent's also attacking me on the right side, which is no good for me here. There's no way I can win this fight, so I have to retreat. I do face an MG42 to the left side, as you can see, to make my opponent's units retreat. Oh, I could get this engineer squad on retreat, we'll have to see. But we can get the minimap. Uh, no, they get away pretty safely. In the middle, there's also a fight going on uh, between a rifle squad and a pioneer squad that's at long range and green cover. The pioneer squad has no chance of winning, but it was the best I could do because I have to focus on the other fights currently going on on the left side and the right side. And then there's also the fight going on over here. I was forced to retreat my pioneer squad there because my opponent's flamethrower critted me once again. Flamethrowers are quite a uh, high risk, high reward type of thing in... Uh, in this game. Not so much in Company of Heroes 2. In Company of Heroes 2, they're more consistent, but with uh, flamethrowers in Company of Heroes 1, you'll sometimes do a ton of damage to in enemy infantry because you get a critical, and a lot of times you'll do nothing to them because your flamethrower is just useless and it's spurting out water, I guess, at some times. Like, haha, -ha, I'm cooling you guys down. Maybe you guys will freeze because of this water. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm being stupid now. So, um, yeah. <laughs> That's the way flamethrowers work in this game. Kind of annoying. Oh, this wolf squad has no chance of winning. My opponent just has so many rifle squads, it's insane. My opponent also has an AT gun on the field, as you can see. He just backed it into his base. Um, oh, that's why I didn't retreat this Volksunadier squad. Well, now I have to retreat him anyways. But I was bringing up a supporting Volksunadier squad to help them out, but it wasn't enough soon enough. I am trying to capture that uh, strategic point, or cutoff point, right outside my opponent's base. It'd be really nice to have that because it'll reduce his uh, population cap, it'll reduce the number of rifle squads he can have, reduce the number of men that he can have in his rifle squads if he has to retreat, if he has to reinforce them. 
Um, it'd be really nice to get that cutoff point, but I can't quite get it because I can't capture it with the squad. I have an MG42 sitting there, and it's all alone, as you can see. And in fact, that there, and in fact, there is a uh, engineer squad coming up to my MG42 to ruin its day. My Volk squad's just sitting there. Oh, there goes the engineer squad. Good. I don't know why he retreated it, but good. I'm glad he did. Alright, lots of things I can do. Ooh, a free bar. I will take that free bar that is sitting next to the house here with this Volk's Grenadier squad. Because my five-man squad is currently in a fight. Uh-oh, grenade, grenade! And it's going to come on both units. Okay, good dodge, super uh, good dodge. That was one of my better dodges. I placed an MG42 in that building, hoping it'll reduce the amount that my opponent attacks me on the right side. Retreat the four-man Volksenadier squad and have the five-man one get the BAR because the four-man one needs to reinforce. I am floating 630 manpower right now, which is a lot of manpower to be floating. I've just been forgetting to buy units at this point in the game. As you might have noticed, I did finally buy another Pioneer Squad. It's in queue, it's building in the HQ right now. Oh, that was really bad. I did not know that there was a mine there. Okay, MP40 Volks, hopefully you can uh, save the day over there. I do force the uh, Engineer Squad to retreat in the middle of the map, though. As you might have seen, my MG42 is getting overrun, and it dies on retreat. It didn't really have much of a chance of surviving with three BAR rifle squads just attacking it at point blank. Uh... So that's an MG42 down. That's really bad for me. Have I killed any full squads of my opponents? Like a full rifle squad or a full engineer squad? I don't think I have. I think they've all gotten away. Which is not good for me, but I think that they have. This is not a good fight for my Volks and squad. Uh, oh, that's really bad. Okay, hit the T button and retreat. Oh, okay. I that I just ran over a mine and it's damaged my opponent's rifle squad and also fully killed my Volk squad. Another one of my Volk squads also ran over a mine, as you might have seen. Uh, on the right side here, there is a fight going on between a Volk squad and a rifle squad. My MG42 is firing at a rifle squad in the middle of the map. They might be able to kill it, but my opponent notices. I can see that it's retreating on the minimap and it gets away just fine. I failed to dodge this grenade. I have to retreat with very low health on that Volk grenadier squad. Not doing so well now. I do have VET-3 on my infantry, as well as VET-2 on my support units, so my MG-42 right now, and eventually a sniper, um, mortars, things like that. Doing pretty well in terms of veterancy. The, uh, the Tiger is still two CPs away, pretty much. I decided to buy myself a Stu because I feel like it's a good use of my manpower, considering I'm floating over 600 manpower. And I could really use it against my opponent's infantry because he has a lot of infantry. We'll have to see how the Stu does. Hopefully it does well. I suppose I should mention, if you don't know what a Stu is, because you've only seen com or if you've only played Company of Heroes 2 and you're new to the Company of Heroes series, uh, the Stu is very similar to the German Broom Bear or Broom Bear in uh, Company of Heroes 2. Essentially the same concept. Artillery going down in the middle here on the VP, preventing me from capturing it. My Stu is going to work on a rifle squad. Uh, if the rifle squad retreats, I do have most of the map, so this is looking really good for me. I have lots of map control, which means my opponent is going to be pop capped, which means that he cannot reinforce his rifle squads very easily, and he cannot build more of them. He cannot build more AT guns, things like that. Uh, this Volk squad needs to retreat as they do. I'm backing up my Stu because it was getting shot by an AT gun. Not good to lose a Stu in the early parts of its life like that. It's also not good to lose it in the later parts, obviously, but uh, it's even worse to lose them in the early parts. Looks like my opponent's AT gun actually blew up a mine uh, at his cutoff point, which is great. That's the second mine that he has blown up on his own. I did have a, uh, or I do have a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a minesweeper on a pioneer squad. My third pioneer squad built this game, or I guess my second one built, my third one in total. Um, I actually had to clear one mine that was next to the fuel point on the far left side, and I also noticed as it was retreating that there was a mine between the hedgerows and that narrow part on my way to the fuel point, and I made a mental note of that and I did not forget it this game. I was so proud of myself, I remembered that it was there. 
I'm planting some mines of my own on the right side. Oh, this could be a great shot, and it disappoints. It only kills two guys. There was two. There's two rifle squads there clumped up, uh, Stu. Do better. Make more explosions. Do more damage. Alrighty here. This could be an issue for my uh, Stormtrooper squad and Volksgrenadier squad. I did buy a Volksgrenadier... Uh, a Volksgrenadier squad, no. I did buy a Stormtrooper squad, as you can see. And I figured that they would be really good against my BAR opponents with veterancy. Bundle grenade in the house. Hopefully it'll do a lot. We'll have to see. Oh, that's going to be nice. Oh, that wasn't quite as nice as I would have hoped, but it was pretty good. Very low health rifle squad out on the field, and it gets away safely, sadly. Now let's focus on the one remaining rifle squad over here that was not in the house. That actually turned out to be a very good fight for me. Oh, here comes some flamethrowers. Let's focus fire on them. They are definitely a bigger threat than the low health rifle squad that is retreating. And the uh, engineers end up retreating after killing one of my men, which sadly happened. If only I could have killed the entire squad. <laughs> there was no way that's going to happen. My opponent was too good this game at retreating his squads on time and paying attention to all the battles happening on the map at any one point in time. And here you can see where I actually remembered that the mine was here. I sent the Pioneer Squad there so that they, could, they would automatically uh, remove the mine. If you have them going somewhere and they happen to find a mine on the way, they will not clear it. But if they're going somewhere and there's a mine where they are going, they will automatically clear it. And so that's what I had them do. Tip of the week, uh, I suppose you could say, if you didn't already know that. Stug, kill off that engineer squad. Or don't, just slightly damage one of the guys. That's That that works too. The Stu is not nearly as good as the Broom Bear is in Company of Heroes 2. Seems like the Stu is... Uh, I haven't really bought a Stu in a long time, I should mention, so... This is based on the one game, but it seems like the stew is just a hit or miss kind of thing. Sometimes it'll do a lot, sometimes it won't do anything with its shots, and it doesn't shoot very frequently, sadly. This could be a great grenade, it's a bundle grenade. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, yes. And you may have heard, or noticed on the left side, that my opponent now has a sniper on the field. Okay, he is countering my veterancy with the sniper. He's also sending artillery into my base, and this is not good. I've also built a sniper of my own to counter my opponent's sniper. I think I built it in response to his sniper. So his sniper was actually out earlier, and I just didn't notice. But uh, my opponent does have a sniper. I almost killed it right here, which would have been really nice, but sadly I didn't even though I tried. But I do also have a sniper of my own. I'm, ho I'm hoping to counter snipe my opponent's sniper with my sniper. Oh no, I just lost a flamethrower pioneer squad. That's not what I wanted to see, nor did I want to see a vet one engineer squad. Oh good, I killed off the vet one engineer squad. That is revenge, and I actually won that engagement because an engineer squad costs more than a uh, pioneer squad, and a pioneer squad starts off with whatever veterancy you uh, have unlocked, while the engineer squad starts off with vet zero. Now that the mine is cleared on the left, I can go capture that fuel point, and my sniper is now dead. My sniper was just sniped by his sniper. I kept it too close to the enemy lines, and I think I even had it uncloaked. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible move by me, but there were just too many things going on at once around the map. I could not keep up, and uh, so my opponent managed to counter snipe me. That was not a good use of my manpower. You can see on the right side there, my opponent has an MG in the building. I'm shooting at it with my Grenadier squad that has the Panzer Shrek, and I'm hoping to do a lot of damage to it, and it seems like I am. It's a very, very low health right now. I think I might have actually killed the thing. I don't see it retreating, and I don't see it on the map anymore, so I think I managed to kill his MG. That is good. My opponent's sniper is still sniping my Volksgrenadier squads. He knows that my sniper is dead. I'm floating 800 manpower right now, and the whole point of that is to buy the Tiger, which is coming on the field right now. Uh, you, won't, you might have also noticed that my opponent's artillery finally killed off my uh, Tier 2 building, the Kriegs Barracks. That really sucks for me, but uh, it is what it is. As much, uh, as much as my opponent is winning the manpower war, I should really be building a med bunker, but I haven't yet done that this game. 
It'd be really nice to use a med bunker. Oh dear, this is not a winning battle. Um, okay, Stu... Well, I can't bring the Stu here either because my opponent has an AT gun. I go with a grenade, but I accidentally retreat the, the Stormtrooper squad. I meant to click on the Volksgrenadier squad and hit T, but my click missed, and so uh, I ended up retreating my Stormtrooper squad and my Volksgrenadier squad. And so the grenade never went off, and the Volks... or the uh, Grenadiers... no. The Volk Squad and the Stormtrooper Squad both ended up retreating, and the Stormtrooper Squad was even full health on retreating pretty much, which sucks. Oh well, hopefully I can make the best of this. Well, that wasn't much of a shot, Tiger. You're supposed to kill off the entire squad at once. Ooh, it looks like the lure on the left side actually worked. You might have noticed that I was trying to lure him into the mine, and I was successful. That is great. Oh, hello there, Sniper. Uh, yeah, why don't you just go ahead and shoot again? Uh, maybe one of my tanks, either the Stew or the Tiger, might kill you. That'd be great of you. Grenade versus grenade, who's gonna win? I retreat, and uh, I don't really do much damage with my grenade, so that kind of sucked. Yeah, there you go, Snipe again. Come on, Stu. Ah, <sighs> my Stew didn't fire in time. I tell it to attack ground, and then I check where the sniper is going, and I figure out it's not going to be there. So uh, I decided to uh, cancel the attack ground and move both of my tanks backwards because they're getting artilleried, and because the sniper was no longer there. There's my full health stormtrooper squad. So useful. Uh oh. Oh no. This is bad. Yep. Hit T. Retreat. There we go. I'm still getting artilleried on my both on both of my tanks. I was about to say on my both tanks, that would not make any sense. But on both of my tanks, I am getting artilleried. Not good. I really could use a med bunker, but I'm not yet building one because both of my pioneer squads are being used right now. I do decide to cloak my uh, stormtrooper squad. I think I've also given them Panzer Shrek upgrades. I have tons of munitions to do it. I actually haven't. Oh. Okay, what am I planning to do? I'm planning to grenade. That's what I that's what I was going to do. I was going to grenade one of my opponent's squads by getting, getting up close to them with the Stormtrooper squad while it's cloaked and then uh, own one of his squads with the grenade. Because he won't see it coming. He won't see the red dot on his map to see the battle. And hopefully he won't notice uh, when they do appear when they throw the grenade. We will have to find out. Oh, this could be perfect. They're planting a mine. And then they're all together, right up close to each other. I throw the grenade. Oh, fighting going on here. Be in cover and grenade. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. My opponent had just finished planting the mine, so the mine exploded. And the entire rifle squad died to the grenade and the mine exploding together. That was an awesome grenade. Very rarely do you see such good grenades like that. I'm not going to let you grenade me on the left side here. I know exactly what you're trying to do, guy. Alright, Pioneer Squads are done being busy. Oh dear, you grenaded me. Okay, that sucked. So what happens when you look away from a battle for too long. You've got to keep rotating very quickly between anything that's going on in the map. Very, very quickly. I decide to put a, uh, a Minesweeper on both of my Pioneer Squads. At least on the one that didn't already have it, so they'll both have it here pretty soon. I really could be using them to build a med bunker right now, but it's not on my mind. I am so busy doing other things right now, I am not thinking about building a med bunker, even though it really would be good for me to build one right now. Looking at VPs, uh, my opponent does have all three VPs, although I do have more map control than he has. There goes another mine. Hooray! Ooh, that was a nice shot by the stew. I think I just killed, out, killed off an entire engineer squad. That was really good. Okay. Looking good in terms of map control. I do have over half of the map, but my opponent does have two of the three VPs. I am capturing one for myself. He is winning in terms of victory points remaining, because I only have 243. He has 382. Looking good overall in terms of the game so far. Even if I am down um, a VP and losing VPs right now, that is fine because I have more map control, which means I can I am more likely to win engagements, and then I can slowly but surely turtle my way to my opponent's base and uh, eventually have all three victory points, or at least two of the three, and win through a war of attrition. I am capturing the middle VP as well right now, so... Uh, 
kind of doing what I just described. Hello there, Engineer Squad. You're now, on, you're now down to one man. <laughs> I might have a Minesweeper on this Pyro Squad, but it's a Vet 3 Pyro Squad, or actually Vet 2. Oh. It's a Vet 2 Pyro Squad, though, which is still a lot better than a single man Engineer Squad with no Vet. Uh oh, artillery's coming on both my tanks. Move them. I have tons of manpower. I could be building a medic bunker right now. I apparently bought a bike. I forgot about that. I did buy a bike. <laughs> Just getting barraged by the artillery. Getting very lucky there not to get directly hit. But yes, I did buy a bike. My goal with the bike was to flush out my opponent's sniper because, as you might have noticed this entire game, since he built the sniper, it has been doing a lot of damage to me. It's been really annoying. Lots of infantry on the left side, lots of infantry, or a couple of infantry anyway, on the right side, and a couple of tanks in the middle is what my army looks like right now. Not the best spread, but it's uh, a decent one, I suppose. Can I kill off this entire AT gun crew? That would sure be nice. Ooh, that's a perfect grenade spot, and I saw the grenade coming and I moved. Yeah. It's always a good thing if you can see your opponent's grenade spots, you can see a place your opponent might send an AT grenade, or even a regular grenade, not an AT grenade. Why did I say AT grenade? No, it's always good if you can see where, where your opponent might send a grenade. Capturing the rightmost VP. My opponent did decap the middle VP, but I am going to cap it here pretty soon. I did use a bundle grenade on the rifle squad on the left side. My opponent threw a grenade on me as well. Neither one really did anything because he retreated, and my stormtrooper squad is vet 3 with tons of armor and tons of health. They are just fine. Uh oh, artillery coming in on the middle VP. Hopefully, I get lucky here and I can be able to capture the point before anything happens. I am lucky. And then I have the squad move forward, and then they, <laughs> then they get hit by a shell. Okay, move to the left. Nope, apparently they get unlucky once again. They're down to one man, and I have them retreat, I believe. I actually had them grab the bar rifle before uh, I had them retreat. Okay. I do have most of the map now. Looks very nice so far in the game. This is looking good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna capture this point before I retreat. There we go, now retreating. Uh, lots of full health squads sitting in my base. I should probably do something with them. My Tiger and Stu are both being uh, attacked by an AT gun, or two AT guns, I suppose. I have my Tiger go off to the right side, I back up my Stu. Tiger's gonna go kill off this uh, engineer squad, but no, it does not happen because my opponent knows exactly what I'm doing. So I say, screw it, I'm gonna send my Tiger down to the south because I don't want to risk it getting shot at by more AT guns. And I don't want it to get stickied. I'm sure my opponent has stickies at this point in the game. Just not worth the, with the risk of attacking my opponent's engineer squad. And now my opponent's engineer squad <laughs> goes and captures that plus 10 munitions point once again. Alright, lots of full health infantry. Got to do something with them. What am I going to do with them? I think, yeah, I was spreading them out at this point, sending some to the left, some to the middle, some to the right. I'm not really focusing on one individual spot, because I do have most of the map and I'd like to keep it. And it's also, at this point, the late game, so uh, the Wehrmacht army should be better than the American player's army. So I figure it's safe to uh, sp spread them out like that. The Vet 3 tanks are completed. Excellent. There is an engagement going on here. I know my opponent is trying to throw a grenade here. I'm not letting him. I'm constantly moving my squad so that if he does throw a grenade, it will be in the wrong spot. My opponent's engineer squad on the right side gets killed, which is great. My opponent's uh, engineer squad on the uh, middle also got owned, but he did retreat it. My opponent threw a grenade on the left side, as you saw, but didn't do anything. I dodged it and captured the uh, strategic point over there. I'm also going to capture the uh, munitions point that's closer to my opponent's base. Oh dear, I'm getting sniped. This Grenadier squad is getting sniped. Down to two men. I retreat them. I do not want them to lose the Panzer Shrek. Once they go down to one man, uh, 
losing the second man has a chance of dropping the Panzer Shrek, and I do not want that to happen at all. I'm finally using my bike, as you can see. It's just been sitting behind a hedgerow this entire game since they brought it out. <laughs> since it was getting artillery at the beginning of its life. Oh, no. Okay, move the bike. Don't want it to get AT gunned because it only takes one hit to kill it. Assault grenade time on the rifle squad. Oh, uh, they had to move up to do it. I was hoping they wouldn't have to move up to do it, but they did. But I still throw them. Rifle squad stops. Excellent. He throws a grenade on me. Uh, oh, good. I survived. He ends up retreating. Excellent. I think I did more damage to him than he did to me in that battle in terms of manpower, but he's bringing reinforcements. I'm forced to retreat on the left side. On the right side at the same time, I have a Volk squad that is just dying, as well as a Tiger doing pretty much nothing. I have a Volk, uh, Stormtrooper squad rather over here that uh, got a little too close to the enemy and died, or not died, but retreated, almost died, to my opponent's sniper. I do have a sniper on the field now as well, which is going to hopefully be able to counter snipe my opponent's sniper this time. My opponent accidentally sends a mortar off to the right side. I'm sure that was a mistake, unless he was just trying to in, to cap the point, the munitions point over there with it, because he's so low on pop cap. I don't know which it was. Maybe that's what he was doing, but I think it was just a mistake. Hello, AT gun. My Vet 3 Tiger can stand up to you, as well as my pack can shoot at you. There we go, one man down. My pack is shooting at the AT gun, but packs are no longer 100% accurate against AT guns. I thought they were, but apparently they're not. Apparently that was changed at some point. Oh, nice shot by the stew there. Very well done. My sniper is on the field, very close to my opponent's sniper. I know that my opponent's sniper is somewhere close by because he just sniped one of my uh, pack crew members. I just don't know exactly where he is. I'm moving my sniper up to hopefully uncloak the enemy sniper and then snipe him. Very risky move, but it's one of my better options right now, considering what all is going on. My sniper is Vet 2 as well, so that'll be, uh, hope uh, hopefully that'll be helpful in finding the enemy sniper. I forget what veterancy it is, or which sniper it is, but one of the two snipers, either the Wehrmacht one or the American one, is able to detect enemy units at farther range, uh, enemy cloaked units that is, and so they can snipe the enemy sniper without being found themselves. Very useful ability when you're doing sniper versus sniper combat like this, but, uh, I don't actually know which sniper it is or what veterancy level it is. My tiger might be a little screwed here unless I back it up. <laughs> Just maybe, with two AT guns and a rifle squad there about to throw sticky grenades. That's even a Vet 3 rifle squad, oh boy. My sniper is very close- no 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 no, don't go there, good. <laughs> I almost sent them right into the AT gun to be revealed, and then the enemy sniper would have sniped him. That would have been very bad. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm hopeful. Nope, there's my opponent's sniper. Okay. Oh, my counter snipe missed! That's horrible! Oh, no. I almost had it, except it missed. Alright, so now my opponent knows that I have a sniper here, which is not good. I have built a second sniper uh, to hopefully help counter snipe my opponent's sniper, as well as hopefully do just a ton of damage to my opponent's uh, infantry. My sniper is being bombarded with the mortar. I do have a Panzer Shrek just lying on the ground there. That's exactly what I did not want to lose to the enemy. I have so little map control now, or so many, many units, whichever way you want to see it, that I cannot buy another Grenadier squad. Or uh, rather, a Volkswagen squad. Not good for me. Such a long game so far. 43 minutes in. I need something to pick up that Panzer Shrek, but I guess it's at least safe right now because I do have two snipers guarding it, so. Uh... Oh, here we go. The Volkswagen Deer squad coming in to grab the Panzer Shrek. There we go, sniper's going off because I actually don't have one of them on hold fire. I meant to have them both on hold fire, now they're on hold fire. Opponent's mortar squad is capturing the middle VP. He also has an MG protecting the mortar squad to keep my infantry attacking the mortar squad uh, suppressed and pinned. There's a rifle squad attacking 
or capturing the munitions point there, and I take it out completely with my sniper squads. Excellent. Very lucky my opponent's sniper did not counter snipe me there. My opponent is really wanting that middle VP. Okay, here we see our first opponent's tank. It is a Hellcat. Okay. I need to do something about that. I do have two sniper squads here in the middle. They could easily snipe that MG. Uh, but I'm not doing it because I want to counter snipe my opponent's sniper. But it's hard to do when you don't know where his sniper is. Flanking the MG with the Volkser Nadir squad. Using it as sniper bait as well. There's the opponent's sniper. Okay. Sending both my snipers over there just now. Using assault grenades on the MG. Oh, my opponent has two snipers. Okay. I managed to snipe one on retreat. The other one gets away, as you can see. Now I decide to get Vet 3 and my snipers so they can fire faster. And MG squad is down. Excellent. I am definitely winning the manpower war here, as well as map control war. The only thing I'm not winning right now is the uh, victory point war. I'm just slightly losing it. Hello there, Engineer Squad. Don't mind if I send my bike towards you to eliminate you, hopefully. Bike is at half health, though, and they go into the building. That's no good. Lots of reinforcing to do, and I can't actually afford to reinforce my squads. I'm solo on manpower right now. I'm down to 200, well, 236, or 8, 238, I believe, manpower income. Very low. My bike dies to a Hellcat, not good for me. I have to retreat this Volk squad as well. And so my opponent sent his Hellcat to the left side, I know that, so I decided to send my pack to the left side. Keep my Tiger on the right, I believe, my pack on the left. Be really nice to uh, disable or kill the Hellcat. Both my snipers are moving up. My opponent does have two uh, 30 cals, not good for me. Definitely not good for my snipers. Oh, this Volksgrenadier squad is screwed. They're at low health, they're not going to survive that capture. Oh, I actually did send my Tiger to the left side, apparently. My opponent's also, once again, barraging in my base. That thing was so annoying, this game. I have an MG crew and a Volksgrenadier squad sitting around doing nothing. I did manage to capture the middle VP at some point. That is great, and I am going to have my uh, MG42 cover the middle VP. There is a Stog Hound on the right side. The Stu can beat the armored car. I keep calling it different things. The armored car. I can destroy the armored car with my Stu. So uh, I send my Stu over to the right side. But my opponent has a Hellcat, so he has two Hellcats. Good to know. Back up my Stu. It did send out one shot, but it didn't really do much of anything. Okay. I am kind of on the back foot here, especially because of my opponent's sniper. If I could if I could just find my opponent's sniper, it would be great, but my bike is dead, and if I send my bike into the middle, it'll die to the uh, the MGs my opponent has anyways, so I can't really do that. I also can't snipe my opponent's MGs because they will just annihilate my snipers if I try. So not very many options right now. I do send my Tiger off to the right side to kill the Hellcat, but it missed its first shot. It's... Uh, existence is now known. On the left side, this is looking great. Three Volk squads versus a rifle squad. The Volk should win. My Tiger is attacking the armored car. Burping here. Uh, I did kill the, uh, the mortar squad in the middle. Excellent. Apparently there was another mine over there. Oh, here we go. AT gun. I tell my snipers to attack. And I get counter-sniped. Okay, there's the opponent's sniper. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Because I had my second sniper attack the AT gun as well. That could have been so much better for me. I could have gotten to sniper, but uh, I didn't. So now I'm having my sniper move forward on the enemy sniper. There it is. Right-click. Oh, Grrr. That sucks. I just lost both of my snipers to my opponent's sniper. He's probably feeling really good right now, and I'm feeling really bad. That enraged me. I just felt like rage quitting right now, but I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. But I felt like it. I definitely felt like rage quitting right now. 
That was a huge manpower loss for me, and now my opponent's sniper has free reign to do whatever the heck it wants, and I can't do a thing about it. Hello there, armored car. Let's just have my pack go and face you, because I fully expect you to come towards the middle of the map and help protect the middle VP that my opponent actually managed to decap at some point. Tiger and Stu kill off this rifle squad. They don't quite do it. Kill two men at least, though. Alright, pack is in the middle. I don't want it to go too close, though, or else it'll be uh, attacked by that MG that my opponent has. I still have over half of the map. This is going good so far. My opponent is really desperate to get those VPs. He knows that's the only way he can really win. His sniper and the VPs are his two tickets to victory if he can use them, if he can use his sniper properly, and if he can capture the VPs and count them down even without having more map control than I do. My tiger is now at less than half health. This is not a good situation for my tiger. Oh dear, my Stormtrooper squad's getting sniped. That is not good because it costs me a lot to reinforce each man in the Stormtrooper squad. I believe it's 45 manpower per man, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Either way, it's a lot. Oh, that's gonna be grenade. And I get out, but there's no grenade. Oh, they're down to one man and I have a panzer strike. Okay, yeah, retreat. Good call, Supra. Good call. Are you uh, repairing my Tiger? And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my uh, Pioneer squads back up. I still have not built that Medic Bunker that I was talking about quite a while ago. It would be a very good thing to get it because my opponent, like I said, is winning the Manpower War. I'm just winning the Map Control War and uh, the Resources War. My tanks are getting artillery. This is not good at all. I backed them both up. Tiger's at very, very low health. A Hellcat could probably come in and kill it if it wanted to. I have built another sniper. I'm going to have a snipe the MG42, not the MG42, the 30 cal MG. Hopefully I can uh, do it without getting counter sniped here. My tiger's gun is dead. This is a very bad situation for my tiger. My sniper sends off one round and I have it back up now. I don't want it to get counter sniped. My opponent is aware that I have a sniper once again. Another pioneer squad out. Send it to repair the uh, the tiger, as well as the stew afterwards. Uh, what to do here? Grenades would be good. I decided to go with them, but my opponent also grenades me, and I'm very close together here. Very bad for me. I throw some grenades on my opponent's rifle squad. Does some damage, not much, though. I had to retreat. He's going to get that fuel point, but oh well. I don't really need it. I mean, look at my fuel income. What I really need to do is just prevent him from having it. Second sniper on the field now, two snipers. Hopefully I can counter snipe this one sniper that my opponent has. It's a very high vet level sniper as well. If I can kill it, that would be really good, because if he wants to build another sniper, it will be at vet zero. Mine as I build them are all vet three. My opponent is barraging once again, getting very close to my infantry. Oh, oh that's a horrible hit for me. I just lost a Volksnader squad, I believe, as well as a man and another squad. That was really bad for me. Oh gosh, I'm just losing men left and right here in my base. Oh boy. Hello there, mine-laying rifle squad. Yeah, there you go. Drop a bar, and I don't think they actually finished laying the mine, which is excellent for me. This is actually a bad situation for me to be in now. Oh, there is his sniper, and he's going to move it away at full speed, because it moves at full speed while cloaked, because it is Vet 3. That is one heck of a strong sniper. In case you haven't been able to tell yet, my opponent's sniper play is obviously way better than my sniper play. Sniper play is just something I'm not very good at. We are losing ground. I might be able to kill off this engineer squad. My snipers are on hold fire though, they don't fire. Too much else going on, I can't put them on uh, automatic fire. My opponent's sniper is just right outside his base. Oh, that shot hurt me. Okay, retreat. My opponent did have all three VPs before I decapped that one VP, but I am down to 143 VPs versus my opponent's 248. I'm 100 down, basically. 
you might have noticed that my snipers, one of my snipers, um, got spotted there. That is because one of my opponent's dead uh, men from one of his rifle squads was still alive. <laughs> one of his dead men was still alive. Yes, uh, one of his men was like on the ground, incapacitated, I suppose, and they can spot your snipers. So uh, I almost just lost one of my snipers there. That would have been really bad. Luckily, I didn't. Oh boy, so much going on. I cannot keep up with it. Something I said a long time ago in a few of my Company of Heroes videos is that my skill level, after about 25 to 30 minutes in the game, really, really drops. And you can actually see that right now, because I'm just not playing well with as many things that are, that are going on right now. I'm just not, just not doing well. Couple of AT guns here. Oh dear, no, 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 no. Don't go to my snipers, don't go to my snipers, don't go to my snipers. Oh god, hitty, retreat, oh dear, just got counter sniped. That's a third sniper dead to my opponent's sniper, if not more than that. I don't know what he killed before that. Oh come on, Tiger, you could have killed off that rifle squad to at least count for the fact that it just lost a sniper. Uh, armored car is attacking my Vulcanadier squad. Luckily I have a uh, Stormtrooper squad here with a Panzer Trek. Cancer Faust as well from the Volks. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. Okay. Uh, retreat the Pioneer squads and back up the Tiger. I send my Stormtrooper squad after the armored car. Oh, it's still getting barraged. Come on, guy. Don't barrage my Tiger. My Stu apparently has a white health bar, which means it has more health than the maximum. I honestly don't know where it gets that from. I didn't think that was possible as the Wehrmacht, but apparently it is. I don't know. <laughs> but it has a white health bar. Tons of health, in other words. I could really build that med bunker now. It'd be a good time to do it. My opponent's definitely winning the manpower war, especially with that friggin' sniper. Uh... Down to 100 points. My opponent has two of the three VPs. He is capturing the third one with success. I am sniping him, but he's capturing it. Then he will retreat, probably. He captured it and retreated, just as I predicted. He has all three VPs. I'm down to 100 points, approximately. This is not going well for me. My opponent has a ranger squad. Does nothing to my stew, luckily, with that first hit. Oh dear. I am dropping VPs very fast, already down to 75 VPs because my opponent has three of them. Has all three of them. This is not good on the right side. My opponent had a mortar there, which is now retreating. Oh, that building is almost collapsed. It'd be really nice to collapse it. I apparently just lost a full Volk squad or Stormtrooper squad, one of the two on the left side. That is not good. I lost it to artillery. I am capturing the VP on the left side of the map, so my drain will stop here. Or it won't stop, but rather it'll slow down. I assault grenaded the rifle squad in the middle here. Doing quite well with the grenades. Might be able to kill off the entire squad, hopefully. Come on! Oh, it's gonna get away alive, darn. Huge assault from my infantry there in the middle of the map against my opponent's AT guns. He has too many AT guns, not enough infantry. So I'm able to decrew one AT gun, and let's go for the second one now. Then I can bring in my Tiger, hopefully. Come on, decrew the AT gun. Oh, my opponent's MG is setting up. This is not good for my infantry blob. I am blobbing, sadly, which uh, is a result of my play be being pretty bad after 25 to 30 minutes. It's actually not as bad as it normally is, this game. I'm actually playing pretty well this game for how late or how long he's gone on. Oh, Sniper needs to retreat there. Yeah, good. Um, oh dear. VP Drain is stopped, because I'm capturing the middle VP and I have the left VP, although the left one is going to be captured here pretty soon. Oh boy. My Tiger is being repaired, or actually is not being repaired. It's about to be repaired here pretty soon, though. Got the middle VP, have to retreat that rifles or have to retreat the pioneer squad. Uh retreat, there we go. There we go. Barely made it out alive. 
My opponent is capturing the middle VPs. This is really getting down to VPs now. I have 36 VPs remaining. 35. Capturing the left VP, getting attacked by an armored car, but will Panzerfaust it because I have tons and tons of munitions. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, repairing my Tiger. It really is my Tiger right now, so I'm repairing it. I have the left VP, but my opponent has the middle and right side VP. That Panzerfaust's armored car. Uh, Panzerfaust's not going to get off because my opponent knows exactly what I'm trying to do. Oh well. Oh boy. So much destruction has gone on so far. This is tense. I can win here. I can win. I've been winning for pretty much this entire game. I should be able to win here. Just a matter of using using my units correctly, a matter of multitasking properly. I need to focus on every single battle that's going on at any point in time, not just one of them. But it is very late in the game. My playstyle or my play skill level is very low at this point in the game. We are losing the Although it's still higher than it normally would be. My opponent's mortar is dead there. Good. Yes, he might have been uh, sacrificing it. I don't know. He might have needed the pop cap for more rifles or whatever. Up, you Left side. I fully expect a grenade here. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. Okay. Assault grenade time. I have to retreat that one Volksgrenadier squad. He grenades me. I grenade him with more grenades than he can count. Oh boy, okay, at this point, oh dear, my stew is just dead, I'm not even going to bother with it. Focus on the left, focus on the middle. I cannot focus on the stew right now. My sniper is opening fire on my opponent's infantry, I cannot ha handle anything else. Seven VPs remaining, I have to capture that middle VP. I told my Volks to capture it, but they're not doing it because they're suppressed. Oh, come on. Supra, what are you doing? GG, three points left. My Tiger is at a decent amount of health now, but still a damaged engine. Attacking the Hellcat. Capturing the mill VP and only halfway there when I lose the game. That was a game I could have won, but I just didn't have the skill to do it. My opponent was just more skilled than me. He earned the win. Simple as that. That's a Vet 3 howitzer sitting in his base. Wow. But yeah, my opponent earned the win there. I could have done a lot of things better. I could have built a med bunker. I could have used my Tiger towards the end, even with its damage engine. Um, you can see it was fully repaired now, and it could have been useful in the middle of the map here. As you can see, my opponent had nothing to, to counter it. Could have been such a different ending, but it wasn't, sadly. But it was a great game nonetheless. My opponent did earn the win there. He out-multitasked me. His uh, skill level towards the end of the game was higher than mine. I started blobbing. Blobbing. I could not keep track of all the fights happening. My opponent could, though. So he was winning more fights. Uh, and that's just how it went. He ended up winning. But still a great game nonetheless. So anyways, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, enjoyed your snacks as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.